So I'm going to try a little experiment here, and I'm going to do a little bit of a first impressions look at this Toyota Highlander Hybrid, a vehicle I'm actually interested so in, in uh, checking out. This, of course, is a Platinum Edition, so this is top shelf trim here. And until the um, Kia Telluride came around, this was my favorite vehicle in this class, the three-row crossover. And when you open the door, first off, it's a really big vehicle. I mean, it's way bigger than you expect, but you know, okay. And you open the door and we're gonna get to the reason why some of this stuff will make a difference to me in a minute in my first impressions. I mean, that door sill comes way the hell down and that's pretty deep there in the first row. In the second row, again, I want you to see how deep that goes in there, okay? You know, the exposure may not be the best, but you can see the uh, cooling for some of the battery stuff there. Now, one of the things that took me a minute to figure out was putting this second row seats on. By the way, I'm never a fan of these captain's chairs, but that's for my specific application. So I'm wondering, okay, is that all the seats go down? So I actually did RTFM. And then you look down here, and here are how you put the seats down. So we'll click that, and you'll see. It takes a little bit of effort. There's your second row. Let's go back over to the second row on the other side, and I want to show you something over there. So why put rear seat entertainment in when you can just, you know, load your own in there like that? So let's... Lower this down. Oh, yep, first you gotta release it up here. Now, I want you to watch this. Ready? Oops. So, now, all right. Now look, first off, look how high that these seats are. Okay, now we'll go to the rear. This was the real shock. When you open the rear, I want you to see how high, or notice how high this is here. This is on me, try to get it so it focuses in, probably 30 inches high there. And then we'll lower these. These just automatically tuck the headrests, okay? That, of course, is always my biggest issue with that, this big ass gap, because for me, what I look at here for a lo flo load floor, the flat load floor is, you know, how does my dog fit? And that's obviously gonna be a problem when you have that big hole in there. But for what you look at, look how, you would think that this floor would actually be maybe about here or here. And, and you know, that's one, two, three, about three, four inches. Um, and will it make a big difference? Now this sill here, and then is lower. See, sorry, bad camera work uh, here, and then it comes up. So there's actually a decent amount of room once you're in here. But this floor is high, so we're gonna have to be, be interested to see how well the dog fits in here, along with that. So, but a lot of nice stuff in here. This, I will say, just outside of that, initially looks. Pretty good, although there, I do want to point out one thing here that I thought was interesting. The finish here, and hopefully I can get the exposure to work in here. Um, for the seats here, this is a little, you know, it's a little sloppy, to be honest with you. It's not what I expect from Toyota. Materials are okay. Um, but when you sit in the driver's seat here, it's kind of, you don't have to step up or step down, you just literally slide in. But it is very airy, especially with this big glass panel up there. So overall, haven't driven it yet. I literally I just dropped it off about 45 minutes ago and just taking a peek at it before I drive it anywhere. Initial impressions, a little mixed, but I think it has possibities. We will see. Thanks for uh, stopping by rumblestrip.net. 
for our first impressions of the 2020 Toyota Highlander Hybrid Platinum.